Hello, this is not a spring chicken. I don't know about you, but have you received a call from your credit card company? They've decided that Obama is probably going to win, and so, yes, some of those changes are taking effect, and so don't be surprised if your credit card limits are being lowered. You're going, what? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kem on with comments on the headlines of today. Derby Daddy is very... He, he doesn't worship the ground the president walks on. He's the only one of Monty. Actually, because he's not one of Monty's kids, he he's one of uh, of Darth Vader's kids. Ooh, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually, it is at the moment because uh, um, they basically uh, they they figured mathematically there's no way on earth that Mitt Romney can win the election because all the polls, including the Fox poll, is saying that. Uh, actually, the polls that support the president all say it's a landslide victory for the president now, and the donors are now backing off on Romney, mm -hmm. and uh, also the fact that we got hit today with my, you know, we've all of a sudden on on cards that have no limit have been limited today mm -hmm. because they're terrified that the president is going to win, so they're now kicking Dodd Frank into complete use now, so that the president, when he, if he gets, well, put it this way. They know the Democrats are going to hold the Senate by at least one vote, and that means that Obama will remain president until until they lose the Senate, which would be in the next election because two more years they will have a they will get rid of the Senate in two years, folks. And comparing Republicans to Nazis, who started it? Oh, uh, the Democrats would tell you the Republicans started it. Only problem is there's never been a Republican called Obama a Nazi. But the Democrats call all Republicans Nazis because um, if you don't agree with the Democratic leadership, you're a Nazi. Mm. And nonpartisan D.C. Board of Elections and Ethics Post tweet against Scott Brown. You believe that? They said, well, the tweet should have never went out. And well, then, the, then the Republican National Committee said the tweet should never have been made. Because you're nonpartisan. Right. Okay, we had another nonpartisan board found out that the President of the United States, is cre his, his, he's created 100,000 more jobs than were lost during his presidency, which is a mathematically impossibility because of the fact that, that unemployment is two points higher than when he took over as president, and he's created more jobs, which means unemployment would be down. And, they, and then also that same board has said that, it, it, that Obama will create 12 million new jobs during the next four years. That, that, that's nonpartisanship? No. In California, high speed rail segment receives federal approval. Well, yeah, but you're not going to get the approval of the Bureau of Land Management, and you're not going to get approval of Sierra Club. You're not going to get approval of any of the people to have all those marshlands. And at a billion dollars a mile, it's going to run, folks. A billion dollars a mile. Wow. It's never going to go up. And woman who disfigured painting a Christ lawyers up and wants money. Uh, no one understands that. Was she totally destroyed a fresco, and and he said because people are coming to see the damage that she causes, she not only wants charges dropped, and she wants to be reimbursed for what uh, people are coming there. What? Yeah. Well, what it is is they're trying to get they're trying to make enough money to cr to save the okay. She basically painted over with new stuff on top of the old fresco, which basically means people don't know what they're doing can remove the layers. But it's going to cost, uh, what one of the people said, it looks prob probably something that could have been restored for a couple of hundred thousand is now going to take millions to just put it back to the oh. way it was before she damaged But she wants, she said, I'm owed that money because it is my work. No, it was the guy that painted the oh. fresco in Spain to begin with. And she disfigured it. She I totally mean, disfigured it. I mean, she couldn't paint. I mean, she sat what, there what and made it. That? There is a word for that. Um, it, it basically was. She's been charged with criminal, not with you know, uh, not with misdemeanor stuff like they would in this country. They charged her with a felony for defacing a historical. Defacing historical, yeah. And and it's gone. Like I said, it's going to run several million dollars to try to. That's only they're going to try, and they figure that we may be able to pull it off because. She used modern things which are easier to remove than oh, the older, older stuff. Yeah. And CSU board okays tuition increase and could only prop 30 fells. I love it, but uh, that's basically that uh, keeps the state from spending money they don't have, which 
isn't going to happen because, okay, here's Jerry Brown's taxes are now going down the chute because uh, there is no indication that the Democrats are going to stop spending money. And the raising of the taxes was promised that we need a one-time tax for seven years in order to get the budget back in balance and that we're going to cut spending to coincide with the amount of money being taxed. Uh-uh. And uh, it, they, they, they're continuing to spend money like it was water. And the people that they're going to raise the taxes on are splitting the state. Oh, 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 oh. I, he's so excited. He said, oh, did anybody see that Samuel L. Jackson rant about wealthy people and not paying their fair share? What did he do? It turns out that Samuel L. Jackson is one, one, one of more of the affluent members of the Hollywood community and has a net worth of at least $150 million. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's nowhere, as he indicated, he's going, to, he's going to pay his fair share. If the taxes are raised, I'll pay it, but I'm not going to until then, mm -hmm. which means he, he's, he basically, he, it's like all Democrats, uh, do as I say. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and CSU board, oh, yeah. oh, we already talked about that. And it's not my fault the national debt is so high, so I'm not going to worry about it. That's what he said on national television. It's not hitting, I said that 90% of that debt was caused by George Bush and the Republicans. No. George Bush left office with a $500 million deficit. Do you understand what $500 billion, uh, $1.2 trillion? Bush had a $500, $500 billion. Obama runs $1.2 trillion a year, folks. That's three times what, what um, Bush had. And Bush was in the middle of two wars and still only had a $490-some billion deficit. And it's not my fault the national debt is yeah. so high. Oh, well, we are talking about. Yeah. And what does the AEG sell mean to Los Angeles? Why it, sell it, now? It, uh, it means that um, they're not going to have the football team. Well, it was the most stupid thing that they had. Uh, they were going to build the stadium because what it is, the people at A, they have, they own like the, um, uh, they own the, they own the base, they own the foot basketball team down there, and they won the, Nokia, they own the Nokia Center. They were going to combine everything into one great big entertainment complex for like a billion and a half dollars, but you were not going to be able to use the convention center or any of that stuff for the next two years. And they said, well, if they say 18 months, you probably mean three or four years, and that all of that business that is done downtown would be gone. The roads would be unusable to get to any place. And um, so when, he found, when they found out that they were never going to get approval for downtown, they all of a sudden they weren't interested in downtown Los Angeles anymore, so AEG is basically going on the market. Oh. Yeah, it was all about uh, the taxpayers were going to pick up most of the cost of AEG's expansion. Mm -hmm. Plus they were going to end up, the, they were going to pay most of the cost of the football team. So the, they just totally lost interest in the city of Los Angeles when that was never going to, they, they were never going to get approval from the people living around the convention center or working to shut the thing down. Like I said, if it's a government project and they say 18 months, figure three, four years. Mm -hmm. And family fights highway off-ramp in their backyard. Uh, he only gave one response to that, which was, they're not, they not going to work that because we have seen people uh, we're talking, they're losing the house up to with about 10 foot of their home mm -hmm. along the freeway where they just simply decided to add another lane. So they just, uh, you know, they're basically, the house is like falling over almost because they've taken almost all their property away. So you're going to fight an off ramp in your backyard. Uh, right down the street where we come back from when we go downtown, uh, there's an off ramp in the guy's backyard now. Oh, there is. There's an off ramp. They took out the whole backwood property, and basically his house now sits underneath the off ramp. Oh, that's like yeah. The house is worthless. The house is worthless. It's on too. sale, and they can't. You know, basically you every time I walk by, I walk by Saturday, and it says uh, price slash for immediate sale. Can you imagine what the sound of the of the vehicles going? Well, over it's the like his house doesn't like. worth anything being under the off ramp anymore. They've been trying to sell it for four years and can't get rid of it. Oh gosh! And speaking of cars, Carmageddon too hits Los Angeles. Yeah, and uh, we actually saw parts of it starting to happen today. We're talking at ten o'clock in the morning. You couldn't get that direction because people are trying to get as close as they can so they can split off onto the side roads. 
and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. You know, I like this one. I've been done doing talking. Okay. What do you call an individual that doesn't know that the election is rigged? The loser. <laughs>